All right, so our specialized learning support program is designed for students with more significant learning needs that require an adapted curriculum and a higher student to staff ratio in order to make progress. They're all assigned a home base and a home room and they participate in all school-wide events with that home room and that teacher and those students. So they're developing relationships um, and those kids are really learning new skills to interact with people that think and communicate differently than them and we've been really uh, fortunate to have a really supportive environment to build those skills with those students. That's pretty exciting. It's a really great program because it has a focus on that individual. Um, what are their exact needs? It's not solely focused on a curriculum that then leads you to college. It is a curriculum that makes you a better person. It gives you the skills that you're going to need um, throughout life. It's going to give you the opportunity to have a job in the community. It's going to give you an opportunity to feel a part of a community. So for me, I think that that's one of the things that I feel is most important about our program. And these are children whose parents would not have been able to enjoy the life of an expatriate family because there are so few schools out there doing what it is that we do now. The last thing I think we want here at ISM is to create a, a special kind of unit and separate any students. I think that the, the most important thing is inclusion and integration so that everybody can enjoy everybody else's contributions to our, our own special community. It was a really fun and educating experience for both the students as well as the teachers and how we talk about disabilities and students with disabilities how we talk to the students in the class, especially at a five-year developmental level. Where kids and other kids understand that there are kids with special needs, that needs more understanding. And I have seen that a lot of kids now learn how to empathize, and that's very, very important for them. More and more um, families who are traveling abroad need to have schools um, available to them that meet the needs of their student. And we have families who have students with from mild to very um, severe learning needs. And historically, there haven't been a lot of international schools out there that can cater to those needs. Just this past year, when they told us that there's an opportunity for him, it was a dream come true for us. We were just in tears, and we were ecstatic over the moon. I'm proud of my son, and I'm proud of my daughter. She's not in this program, but she's a part of it because she's family and her brother's here. I'm proud that Makai is a pioneer. This is the first year that this program has been in effect and it's, it's a dream come true for us. The people who you might think would have some reason to hesitate didn't hesitate at all. The sense was this is something that we should have been doing long before we actually did it. It's very important to find the um, right staff to staff this program, not just teachers, but you have to have speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, teaching assistants and educational assistants who are highly qualified and have the training to, to help support these students and their needs. In terms of advice for schools out there who are thinking about embarking on this program. My first thought is that you have to be brave. You have to follow your instincts and do what is right. If you have the space, if you can get the teachers, you can do this. My advice would be for schools is not only to think like nearsighted, like what do we have? Of course that's important, but as well looking forward, how can they be part of the bigger community, how can they be more involved, um, how can we spread or as a school, you know, spread awareness, not just within the four walls of the classroom or the school, but then outside as well. So. I think that our, our teachers um, and our students uh, are going to benefit um, from, from having a, a wide variety of, of learning differences at ISM. Um, that's the way the world is and that's the way ISM should be. He was diagnosed, early diagnosis of autism at 18 months old. He stopped talking, he stopped eating particular foods, 
He wouldn't look at us. Parents of children with these kinds of learning challenges often feel that their children struggle to be accepted within schools. That's absolutely not the case here. We totally accept them. I, I don't even recognize Makai. He's such a different little boy from when he started. He can read. He can talk. In December, he said, Mommy, he tells me he loves me. But my happy are my kids, that they're happy and that they're thriving. All students. All people have a right to a high quality education that meets their needs and that is what I think we're trying to accomplish with this program is meeting the needs of students who other, don't necessarily have this opportunity to learn in the international school community right now.